Hey guys, Bondo here. I'm out in the shop getting ready to work on the tiny house slash hunting trailer, hunting camp trailer. Um, I got some good feedback on the on the YouTube form here in the comments, so I really appreciate it. I wanted to show you guys some of the feedback that I got from a couple people and uh, maybe what we're going to do about it because I definitely agree with some of your comments on the front hitch area, the tongue. I'm not being heavy enough. I didn't like the welds on it, but you know, looking at other trailers and stuff, I'm gonna say it's not heavy enough either. So I had two good comments I wanna show you. So John Graham, thanks for the comment, buddy. Um, suggest a third bar down the center for the hitch with that much weight, yeah, I agree with that. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm gonna put a front jack on there on the front too so i'm gonna need a cross piece in there for that front jack let's look here uh good feedback somebody's rod Haw hawkins says uh might be able to use dodge truck spindles for the wheels so appreciate that um i'm gonna look into that if anybody knows if that's true let me know This uh Tom McKenney, he's always common and thanks Tom. Always gives me some good feedback. He's a fan of the fan of the um YouTube channel for sure. Tom. Give a shout out to you. So wooden metal workshop. This is good. He's giving me some good tips on uh MIG welding. You know how to hold the tip. I'm definitely not a pro at MIG welding. I told you there's a lot better people out there. So appreciate that feedback. He also said, uh, let me see if I can get it to open. If it were me, I would replace the entire tongue assembly, widen it out for better triangulation. Keep up the good work. Thanks for that, wooden metal workshop. Um, same thing. People are concerned about that front tongue as I am. So let's look at it real quick. Most tongues don't go into here. They go out to here. So I guess that's what wooden metal triangulation is talking about there. For, you know, that triangulation wooden metal workshop. He's talking about the triangulation. I don't know if that affects the turning radius or what. I'm not sure about that, but maybe throw me a comment on that. But I'm thinking about, uh, you know, you know, the other guy said putting one down the middle here. Well, I need to put a bar across here anyways, so I can put my jack somewhere. I don't want it to hit the tailgate, so there's gonna be something in here, and then maybe I'll go back with it. I'm not sure how far to go back because there's nothing really back here once you get past this cross member. And the reason this is narrow, if you watched the first video, is this trailer, I widened this trailer, so this, this part wasn't even here before, so that's why it is narrow. I really don't want to rip it off. I just fixed the front of this, as you've seen in the second video. So I don't really want to rip it off. I don't think I need to go that far, but I might actually come out here with a short piece, which I think would do the same thing as ripping it off instead of tearing it off and putting the piece all the way out to here. Now you could just tie into the side of here over and i could put some gussets in there and stuff and then get it get it out to here which will give it more strength that's one idea i got obviously like i said putting the cross piece in here maybe get it back to here that'll stiffen it up and like i showed you in the i don't know if it was the second video these welds i'm definitely going to grind some of that out they're pretty ugly they don't that doesn't penetrate very well so i mean really all that's holding this whole tongue on is this weld this weld this weld and underneath here so really i mean if you look at it that's not very good look underneath here i mean that's all that's holding that front on so i mean that i think that could break off of there myself so i'm definitely not happy with that and uh that was something I wanted to dress from the beginning. So I really appreciate the feedback guys. You know, that's uh, that's what I'm on there for. 
helping me out. That's that's if I can help you and you're helping me, that's awesome. But it's come along pretty good, so I think you know I'm gonna putter with this today. I got a couple hours to work. I'm gonna I'm not sure if I'll put put this just in one video, but I'm definitely gonna try to do a few things to this front area. And then that hitch is coming, so I'm putting my adjustable hitch on here, but it's not here yet. So that's what I'm going to do today. Again, thanks for the feedback, guys. Really appreciate it. Hey, guys. Bondo here. So this is part three of the tiny house trailer um, build that we got going on here. This is actually a little tiny house style hunting camp that I'm building here to take hunting. I'm going to actually stay in it during the fall. So if you haven't seen the first two videos, go back and check them out, guys. Uh, explain this thing a little better, what, what I'm doing here. But uh, if you like the video, guys, make sure you uh, hit the like button. That'll help out the channel. Really appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, so here we go. All right, be quiet, buddy. All right, so that's going to go like that flush like that and then that's gonna go like that which if you can kind of see that's gonna add strength to that so I'm gonna cut the other side I'm not gonna video the other side but I'm gonna cut it right now and then we'll uh, clean them up get them tacked in place and uh, go from there hey guys uh, that was a waste of time I got my part all cut and I went to look at my other piece and it was flipped over. <laughs> I didn't notice all that. So I'm definitely not gonna use this piece. I looked at it like this and it just looked like a little surface rust. I could clean up, I had it all marked. Got my lines on there. And I go to flip it over to mark it and bang, I'm like, and I got a couple more of these, but they're all, honestly, they're all like that because they were down low on the trailer. Must be they're catching the salt and stuff. I mean, this one's pretty nice. I might use this one up here to, to make that piece. So it kind of sucks. So I dug through the metal scrap pile that, over to Matt's house that we got. We save everything. So this is part to a, this was on a propane tank that we used for a boiler. It was actually, the propane tank was actually a skid. They had it skid for a big, they used it as a big air tank. So. This was actually the skid. So that's four inch channel right there, guys. So um, I knocked the dirt and crap out of it. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna use this channel instead. So kind of a bummer. I got that part all cut and everything, but no big deal. I'm glad I caught it. I didn't weld it in there or something and uh, have a, you know, heavily pitted, especially up in the tongue. I don't want that, that's junk. That's going to the, metal scrap yard that's where i'm at a little downfall here but we'll get her See what's in the box, Christy. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Let's open that bad boy up. Oh, that's heavy duty right there. Okay, let's do this one handed, guys. There's my part. And just the blue hitch. Yeah, cool. So this, I'm gonna weld on the front of here, like that. This camp. There, that's better. So this is gonna weld the front of there, like that. Oh, it's fancy. Open it up for me, will you? That goes on there. I'll cover up them three ugly holes. It's good and thick too. It's like almost half inch thick, I want to say. And there's that. Oh, 
there's that part. Whee! That's nice. That's just like my other trailer this year. That works really good. That's solid. Awesome. I'm there excited. Very nice. Cool. I got some stuff cut apart here. This is kind of what I'm doing. It's gonna go gonna flush out there like that. Gonna have quite a few surfaces to weld on. And then it's gonna go there. And the same thing over there. Sorry about the angle here. I'm gonna mock it up, uh, clamp it up, and I'll show you. But that's what we did. We cut that skid apart. I got that part and that part there. They already had those bends in them, so kind of looks cool. Should add a little strength to it, so make that front a lot stronger. Okay, I'm gonna clean them up with a grinder and get them fitted. We got it just tacked up right there. Kind of like the way it looks. You just tack there. Like I said, this kind of looks nice though. I think that should stiffen that front end up quite a bit. And then I will put a piece in here too. And that's where my jack's going to be. Not sure if I'll put it on this side or that side, the jack. Probably on this side. But I think that'll be plenty far enough away from the tailgate. But, and I'll make up some little caps here. Kind of fill that in. But she just a lot of grinding to clean up all those surfaces. There's quite a bit of surfaces, which actually more surfaces that you weld, the stronger it's going to be. So I think that should do it pretty good for beefing up this front end here. So guys, if you like fabbing up stuff and building things, why don't you look at my channel and think about subscribing to it. I got a lot of uh, good projects on there that can help you out. We do a lot of building and fabricate and we build boilers and stuff in the winter. Um, we build a few wood boilers. Um, I got some steel cabinets I build on there. And if you're if you're a concrete guy, definitely check me out and uh, subscribe to that. Anything to do with building, check it out guys. I appreciate it. Um, the channel's growing so um, like I said, if you like it, hit the like button and if you really like it, subscribe to it. Thanks. Marking up my uh, new hitch here. This is where the hitch is going to lay. I'm going to grind these surfaces here. I could weld this on here. This is real nice and heavy duty. It's almost a half inch thick. That's really, actually, it is a half inch thick. That's good stuff. So we're going to weld it right on there like that today. And then this is the receiver over here. Let me take those bolts out, obviously. And it goes in there and it's fully adjustable. And this is heavy. I got the same thing on my other trailer. That's a, a real nice heavy hitch. I got that on e-trailer, guys. Um, I can leave a link for you if you want. Just message me if, you, uh, if you're if you looking for that. But it's right on e-trailer, right online. I can give you the model number if you want. If you're looking for something like that just a weld on deal that's pretty cool we're gonna weld that right on there and we're gonna have adjustability for different size trucks or whatever that want to tow this thing down the road you never know what you're gonna be driving or if you're gonna have big tires on it or whatever this makes it makes it nice that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean that surface up first guys i got my part mocked up here um got a little bit of a gap in there evidently this uh this plate still got a little bit of a warp to it not bad but i'm gonna have to do a little more filling, um, filling in there with that gap 
There's the, you can kind of see it better there. But we'll just have to put a good several beads in there. So I got the welder turned up and I got the fire feed turned up. So that's as close as I can get it. You can probably see the slight warp to the plate, but once we get it on there, see that gap at the bottom? If you remember, I fixed that vent spot. So this will straighten it right out. Cause this is, this is what's gonna matter, not this when we're done. So I got it mocked up. I'm gonna weld it up now. Like I said, it's gonna take some several passes to get it welded. Okay. I'm just gonna hold her. Maybe a little bit of slag in it, but. She's hot, people. She's definitely hot. Hmm. Ooh, she's smoking. In there, porosity. This side, I know a little better. This one, I ended up putting two beads on there. It's hard to get it super nice when the, it's probably impurities in there from the old weld. I ground what I cut out, but I think that'll hold her. It'll be a lot sturdier than it was. I still gotta put a piece up in here for my jack. And actually, it's just like Christmas. My jack just came in e-trailer so we'll open that up in a minute see what it looks like come up with a game plan for that just like christmas Set this camera down, guys. This thing's heavy. It's a good heavy one, and look at that. This is just like my other trailer. That's why I ordered it. If something works for you guys, just stick with it. That's what I say. This is a nice jacket. Same style as my other trailer. Uh -oh same brand but it had good reviews so it wasn't priced too bad I don't remember the exact price but it's a drop leg you pick this up or you pull that out and you can push the foot down and it's it's also spring loaded so I can show you pull this out it's adjustable like that and then it's spring loaded which is nice if you get one of these guys, make sure you get the spring-loaded one. They do have some that aren't. And I read some reviews and guys welded them on and they didn't realize they weren't spring-loaded and they weren't happy, but they had already welded it on their trailer. So yeah, make sure it's got that, that spring. And it's got this here, 
So you put the crank on either side. I'm gonna put the crank on this side. You put your pin in and then it actually folds out like this and you can hang it. So they give you this little hanger. It's a weld on deal. You weld that on and this will lock down into it. And you can also put a pipe on on these, you can put a pipe on it and bring your jack out, out farther. So yeah, with that, with this deal here, that's what I'm talking about, it's got a hole in it, you can run your pipe out. Maybe I want to put the jack in the middle here and put the pipe out here where I can get at it. You just lengthen this thing. So we'll figure all that out here in a little bit. Get all that flammable material out of here. So here's my other trailer that I haul around. My excavator and my tractor, Carl the Kubota and uh, stuff like that. So what I want to do is just look at this support here and see how they did it. I got the same setup like I just showed you so I just want to know basically how high this trailer is off the tongue there and uh, I'm gonna try to figure out where to weld this jack looks to me like they got the bottom of this just a little bit welded just a little bit lower than that rail right there it's like it's a couple inches down so that gives me one indicator it also sticks up i don't know 16 and a half inches there and i also want to know how far back it is so from my hitch point here down Looks like 20. It's actually about. Boy, that's weird. Yeah, it's about 23 inches. Right from the tip of there back to there. It's 23 inches, so that's easy to remember. I gotta have it obviously put a cross member in here. So 23 inches is what we got there, guys. 23 inches back. Looks like for my truck, that's on the bottom, this piece. That's the same type of hitch as I just bought. Like I said, I really like that. So I got to, these are weld on. I got to weld it on like that. And then you weld this hook on here, like I was saying. Figure out where you want that hook. and Just tacked in place. Got all the surfaces clean. There's my jack. It's going to weld on the back side of here. That gives me my distance I want from the front. I check with that other trailer. That's what I'm going to do is weld it now. Got the surfaces all ground off with paint and everything. And the sides are clean. Got it clamped on there. I just made sure it's level and square with the trailer. I got the foot jack down, so I tested. Make sure I got enough to take it off a truck, and I do. So that's where we're at. And I'm going to weld that bad boy on there. Gives me room up front here for propane tanks and stuff. And I got my little, put the hitch on there. Just threw the bolts through there. They're not tight, but got nice adjustability there. So I weld that bad boy on there.
too shabby. Right there. Kind of like it. I got my little hook on there for my crank handle. So you got to grind the paint off, obviously. And I turned the welder down because that's that's only like probably 14 gauge. So I'm just going to zap it on there real quick and show you how that works. Getting things done 101. Well, guys, here we go. This is what I got done today. Got my hitch on there. Holded all that on. She's loose still. I just got to tighten that up when I figure out how high I want it. I got my jack on there. I'll weld it on. Little hook there that holds it. Um, I put this piece in to hold the jack. Finish welding these ex um, extensions on for extra strength. I uh, cap these here on both sides. So bees can't get up in there. And that's pretty much what I did today. Well, in the last few days. Uh, now, next step, I got to widen this thing out. It's uh, 77 and a half inches. And I want to make it, I think I'm going to go eight feet wide. Or seven foot six. I haven't decided yet. But I do have to figure out a way to widen it out here. Like some extensions and stuff and then i think i'm gonna put two by fours across here so i think i'm gonna put a piece of channel iron down in here bing 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 three pieces right here and well actually four one up in here try to get so my two by fours that are running this way are sitting on this middle one so actually they'll be sitting on that one that one and the middle one, that one, and that one. My two by four floor. So I don't think the two by fours really should span that far. Let me know what you guys think on that one. I think I should put something in the center there just for extra support. I don't want the floor spongy. So everything, I'm not worried about in here. Down here, they got tons of them, which I think is overkill, but I'm not cutting them out. I got all these in here. I'm leaving them, but I think, uh, like I said, I want to put one down the middle here to support my floor going this way. That's where I'm at. Well, it's coming along pretty good. Got the shop cleaned back up. I think it's time to crack a cold beer.